A wrapping knot in macrame is most commonly used in a plant hanger. As you can see in this range of plant hangers here, underneath the wooden ring and at the very bottom underneath the plant pot are white wraps. These secure the cords before you begin and at the end of your project. You can browse my full range of macrame plant hanger kits on my website and on my Etsy store, the links for which are found at the beginning and the end of this video tutorial. Here you can see two examples of wrapping knots in two different plant hangers. The pink one on the left is slightly longer, that simply means I've wrapped it a few more times. Take a piece of cord about 75 centimetres to one metre in length and make a U-shape at one end. Make that length there demonstrated between seven to 10 centimetres in length. Place it flat against all the cords hanging down. Secure it with your thumb and make sure you have a little tail pointing out the top. You will need to pull this later on. Then take the long loose end and wrap it around everything, including itself. Wrap it securely, but not too tightly. You need to wrap about eight to 10 times. The recommended minimum is about six, but I would strongly recommend eight or 10. You can wrap for much longer. The most important thing is that you have the U shape at the bottom still visible. Making sure that the loop made by the U-shape at the bottom and the little tail at the top are still visible, take the end of the loose strand and place it through the loop at the bottom. It makes no difference whether you thread through the loop from underneath or from above. Secure it with your finger or thumb at the back. And then pull on the tail at the top. This will pull the loose end at the bottom inside, underneath and up, underneath the wrap, securing it in place. Pull firmly until the loop is about halfway up the wrap. Using your fingernails, adjust the wrap until you're happy with how it sits. If you find that your wrap is too low down, you can either unwrap and redo, or you can carefully push it up using your thumb. This can, however, make the wrap loose, so it is recommended to start again if you feel it is in the wrong position. With a sharp pair of scissors, carefully snip off the top and bottom loose ends, taking care not to cut any part of the wrapping knot. Using the pointy end of the scissors, tuck in underneath the wrap out of sight, the frayed ends. If you need to adjust any of the long cords inside the knot, just carefully take one strand at a time and pull gently downwards. I hope you enjoyed learning this macrame knot with me today, so please hit subscribe for more mindful macrame knot videos and tutorials. You can also check out my website or Etsy store to see my full kits and contain all materials and full instructions where everything is cut to size for you in advance, leaving you to focus on the fun parts of the learning and the creating. I love to see pictures of your work, so please follow and tag us on Instagram and Facebook, and don't forget to follow me for more inspiration and details of any upcoming in-person and virtual workshops.